The first thing to see in this question is that they're going, we look straight at the answer. <laughs> We're saying, click on the blank to enter the cost per pound of the almonds and the cashews. Okay. So it turns out that we know that these two people bought some almonds and some cashews and they spent different amounts. Yeah. This is a fancy way of saying, why, why don't we just ask them, how much did you pay for your almonds? Oh no, no, no. <laughs> we're going to make this a puzzle. Because yeah. that's essentially what we're f trying to figure out. How much w was a pound of almonds? We, it, because there's two people, we can figure this out. Mm -hmm. Because we know the number of pounds and the amount of dollars that they spent. So it's, um, you ready to set this up? Here we go. Based on the information that they've put here, they say six pounds of almonds, one pound of cashews. So I came up with six pounds of almonds, one pound of cashews. I could have written it out, but I'm just using A. Now we've got something that looks like a silly algebra problem. You've got a letter and another letter with a number. A letter, another letter, and a number. And we're supposed to be able to combine these two by getting rid of. If I can get rid of these, I'll have only A's. Or if I can get rid of these guys, I'll have C's that add together. So we're going to do one or the other. When I look at this, I say it's really easy. I multiply everything here by three. Mm. The reason I choose three I'm trying to eliminate these two. Good. Now, I could have multiplied this by four and this one by six so that we could get rid of these, but this is simple. Mm -hmm. So, when I take this and multiply it all by three, I'm going to get, multiply this by three makes 18, this by three makes it three, and then multiply this by three, that's how I got this silly thing. So I'm multiplying it all by 3. Now I have to subtract. So I'm subtracting here, I got 14a. Subtract here, goodbye. Because this is a positive 3, this is a negative. And now I subtract here. And through the magic of jumping through time, we find out that when we subtract the 229 minus 78, we get about $151. As Herbie has pointed out, we have to get the 14, get rid of that. So the opposite of multiplying by 14 is we divide by 14. Do it on both sides. If you do it on one side, got to do it on the other. And this right here is going to equal approximately like, I don't know, $10, $11, something like that. And you, now you take this number and that 12, you plug it back in. So what we had found out, the first step was to find out how much the A is, the almonds. Now we take that value, about $10.20, plug it into one of these, doesn't matter which, we're plugging it into one of the equations. The 1020 goes in here multiply it by 4, so I got 40 and 80 cents, plus the 3C has to equal the 78. Next step is to subtract on both sides. So goodbye to that. And here we get down to about 3Cs are about 37. What do you do with that 37? Well, as he says, always leave the letter. You're dividing by, since we're doing the opposite of multiplying by 3, yeah. that's why we chose to divide by 3 on both sides. Mm -hmm. And when you divide through, you get that answer. The question I find interesting is this statement, always leave the letter. If we have 3x equals 15, mm -hmm. what do we do? We divide both sides by 3. Yeah. That allows us to cancel and leave the letter. 
which is a good rule. So the final word of wisdom here is to realize we had to come up with the equation. They did not give us this. They did not give us this. All they said was, we want to know how much, the, the, how, how, what's the cost per pound yes. of these two types of nuts. It was up to us as the test taker to realize, hey, I've seen this before. So the key thing to remember is, this is how you learned this procedure. You did not learn the procedure by looking at a problem like this. Yeah. Almonds. No, they gave you letters. So it's up to you as the student to say, ah, I've seen this before. I don't write out the word almond, I just put the letter A. And then I realize because I have two equations, I can choose which one of these I'm going to eliminate. Thank you for guiding us through this.